Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to do another user challenge called Selfish Ted. Selfish Ted is where we're pretty much only going to send out our family members, and they only get food or water if they bring back good loot. And also, I have a certain amount of items that I can bring, um, which I'm going to read as soon as I load up the adventure. So I bring the whole family, the rifle, radio, ammo, map, food and water, and a med kit. So it's it pretty much a proper uh, loader that we can bring. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, all the items that I can grab here. And Timmy, yeah, Timmy, I will definitely take you. Um, where is, is my wife? Wonderful, let's throw you in there. I just like how I casually just throw them in. Um, water and food is allowed. There's no specific amount. Uh, I have to look for the ammunition, which is over here. Come on, get, come, get, get, get on the couch. The radio, I would really like that one. Uh, the map, where is the map? The map is hiding over here. Uh, the med kit, I'm also allowed to bring one of those. Uh, I think other than that, I have all the items now. Did I bring a med kit? I don't remember. Anyway, food and water. Definitely have to bring that along. I would be ashamed if I don't. Some more water. Water is important. Always key. Stay hydrated. Um, Food, of course, in the kitchen. Come on. More. 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 Okay, I think that's a, that's a good amount. We have a whole family. And let's hope that they bring back good items. Let's really hope so. Hmm. Don't know if I should have brought the flashlight. We'll see, we'll see, but yeah. We're gonna send out our family members and only, they will only get food when you do a good job. I will keep them alive with water. Ooh, I didn't bring the Boy Scout book. Well, guess what? I wasn't allowed to do so, so that is all okay. Uh, by the way, this was suggested by Nigel Adams. Should totally have mentioned that. And if you guys have a challenge that you would like to see, leave a comment with that in the description, uh, below the description. And uh, yeah, if you see one that you would love me to play, uh, upvote it. That makes it easier to see and see what you guys would like to see. Anyway, back to the task at hand. All right, all of us made into the shelter. Yes, 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 very good. I'm excited about that. We have plenty of food, plenty of water, but it's only for the Ted. Only for the Ted. Of course, I'm going to feed them, but I will stop feeding someone if they bring back, back bad food, uh, bad loot, not food weasel. Um, if they don't bring back anything, well, no food for you. You have to earn your food. Um, in the beginning, I have to kind of feed them because they have no chance, but we'll see. We're going to prepare an expedition, obviously, for tomorrow. And, ooh, someone is knocking at the Fallout Shelter door. Guess what? This time I'm not going to open it because it's just... It's just bad. It's you, you don't want to do that. I mean, it's a prank or someone is shooting me both things not a big fan of so we're not we're not dealing with that Anyway, the banging stopped after a while and whoever was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? No, we won't. All right, we should get Mary Jane something to drink uh, That's all lies. That's all lies, but we're going to send out Timmy. We're gonna start off with a Timmy boy and hope Timmy brings back stuff. I'm going to keep track what they bring. I will I will write that down and make sure that everyone gets appropriate uh, amount of food for them. All right, so day four, nothing happening. Oh, we had some spare munition, but now it is gone. We don't know how or when. It must have been misplaced. We need to find it, and soon. Yeah, we used to have ammunition, but I can't find it because that is an interesting event. Because I don't have a torch, so we can... Well, there goes my ammo. That was short-lived. Ah, well. What can we do? So, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yeah, you all want water. That is very understandable. Here you go, guys. <sighs> well, Timmy, you better bring back some good stuff. Otherwise, you're not getting any food. That That is the ultimate punishment, I guess. Yeah, death. It is death if we're not feeding them. We're done fighting, but for how long? For how long, I ask you? Okay, so, no new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Very good, time to ration supplies. Well then, you don't want anything, you're not getting anything. Okay, uh, should we tinker with the radio to increase its range and get maybe a signal? No, we should not, we should leave our 
like greasy little fingers from there. All right. Ooh, look, would you look at that? Would you look at that, Timmy? We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back. Our expedition went directly to visit the primary school. Not for education, of course. Oh no, we were desperate for supplies, and the school was our best chance of getting them. Everybody adored the lunch lady. She was almost 80. And every <laughs> for a second I read, she was almost eight. That is a very young, very, very young lunch lady. Um Everything today is great and smelled of tomato. Now we know our secret, tomato soup cans. Well, Timmy brought back one soup, and the biology class had an aquarium. The fish had died since no one fed them, but the aquarium water should still be drinkable. Drinkable. There was enough for a few bottles. Mmm, fish poop. Mmm, delicious. Probably still drinkable. The PE teacher was a World War II veteran. He kept some of his war trophies and memorabilia at his office at school. This included grenades, a bazooka, and a fully functional gas mask. That is amazing. And the local scout team had its own room in the school basement. We found it filled with boxes and boxes of scout handbooks. Maybe they were preparing for the apocalypse. Anyway, we just took one. And Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy should eat. Everyone wants is hungry. Well, Timmy, guess what? You definitely deserved that. Don't know about the med kit though, if you earned yourself a med kit. Can't, I don't, I don't know if I feel the med kit, Timmy. I don't know. I don't know yet. Well, he did a really good job. He brought one soup, two water, and the gas mask, and the med kit himself. But, nah, 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 let's not do that. Anyway, we're gonna start an expedition with Mary Jane and see how she is doing. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed to used to be an accountant, but now he wants to trade and bottle for water bottles. Nope, we're not doing that. We got plenty of food. We're actually really well stocked right now. So there's no reason for us to actually grab an item and uh, yeah, do any of that. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set to the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner, we'd sooner rob someone. Why not rob the trader? I mean, he definitely had water bottles, right? He was gambling for them. Just saying. All right, we should get Mary Jane something to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, Timmy's hungry. Timmy's still hungry. I don't know if you brought back, you brought back one soup, Timmy. I don't know if you deserve more food. I don't know about that. Well, you did bring back a whole ton of good other stuff, so I will give you that soup. Just because you're my son. I guess. Uh, we've been preparing for this expedition, yes, and we're going to send out our daughter, Mary Jane. Well, Mary Jane, your brother already has a head start there. I mean, he really brought back some good stuff, and you're using the gas mask he brought, so you better make it worth it. If you break the gas mask, no food for you. Just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Unless you bring back a rifle or so. That would be cool. Do we even have one? Yeah, we have one. Uh, an axe and a flashlight and other cool stuff. Anyway. Timmy's very hungry. Really, Timmy? Really? Again? You, you're you not making up for... You, you're eating all the soup. You're eating all the soup. Alright. You know what? I will give you that soup. Hopefully it'll help. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually. Well, let's listen to the radio to be fun. You know what? I'll give him the med kit. I will give him the med kit. Because when he's healed up, we can send them again, and I've put so much food now into him that I hope he feels better soon. Yep, he's not hungry anymore, at least that's something. And everyone's dehydrated, so let's go ahead and drink. Drink up, mateys. Timmy got back to the shelter from his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand on a PC rust piece of rusty metal, and his wound was infected. <sighs> I just used a med kit on you, buddy. Just used it. How are you sick? Oh my god, Timmy, you're the worst. You are the worst. You deserve to be sick. I'm not feeding you anymore. I'm done with it. You just ruined everything you brought back. You effectively brought back water and a gas mask. Good job. Good job, Timmy. Ah, oh, well. What's going on? Dolores is doing quite well. No new problems are troubling Ted this morning. Good, as long as it's not infectious. All right, Mary Jane. Oh, let's see what you brought. You didn't ruin the gas mask. Good for you. Let's see. We're about to give up and come back and jammed into the shelter when we ran into a church. It looked peaceful enough to save for an unexploded atomic bomb stuck in the church tower. Ew. A sizable group of people were busy praying to the bomb. It's like a Megaton. 
chanting something about the holy fission. That sounded really crazy, but those people seemed friendly enough. They gave us canned soup and bottles of water. Well, and a flashlight. And she's not sick. And she didn't break the mask. Actually, she did a really good job. Guess what? You're my favorite child now. Uh, does she want anything, by the way? I forgot to look. Uh, Mary Jane is hungry. Well, she's probably gonna eat all the soup she brought, but that's okay. We're gonna prepare an expedition for tomorrow. I guess I could send... Ooh! Good news, everyone! The government just announced they will be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Absolutely. That that does sound fan friggin fantastic. I like this. Um, they will be dropping crates filled with supplies. Yay! Let's see if we can get something. Let's hope the mask doesn't break. And we got... Oh, okay, it broke. But we got lots of food from what it seems like. Let's see. The aircraft trade we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. Great! Two bottles of water, two soup, just like that. Uh, Mary Jane still wants food. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Loris would love to eat. Ted is hungry. All right. Soup. Wait, she's thirsty. Wait, who's what? Someone was thirsty. Um. Oh, wait. Yeah, Mary Jane's could... Timmy doesn't want food. Okay. Okay, now we got it. Everyone wants food except Timmy. And she should definitely go outside, Mary Jane, again. You did a great job the first time. You might get sick the second, though, because now the gas mask is broken. But this is something I'm willing to risk for Daddy. Because this is selfish Ted. Um, Dolores will not survive. Yes, 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 she will. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. Well, let's listen into the radio and we will figure it out. Ideally, the surface is now... Well, walkable again. You can walk on it without getting, well, radiation sickness. We'll see. Yes, the fallout mod site has mostly gone. It should be much safer. A little bit too late for our daughter, but eh, happens. Timmy's very hungry. Timmy's in a bit terrible shape. Mm, I bet he is. I'm, I'm not a big fan of giving you anything to feed or to drink, but maybe she will bring back. Um, Maybe she will bring it back. Does anyone else need food, by the way? I just assumed that they want food, but that's actually just Timmy. If she brings back a med kit and is not sick, I might give it to Timmy. No, no, I should keep it for Ted. I should definitely keep it for Ted. All right, fun memories are one thing. Despite the dire circumstances, all the trouble we're going through, Timmy is very brave. Good for you, Timmy. If only you weren't sick. Ooh, we were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area, then leave a sign that someone is still kicking nearby. Meow. You know, someone is cool. All right, life and kicking. Let's go there. Let's check it out together. That sounds like a really good idea. And, oh, Timmy doesn't look good at all. Ooh, Timmy. Timmy, that's, ooh, ooh nasty. Very nasty. A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in a bottle. Very good. Okay, Ted says there's no need to worry. Everything is fine. Timmy has rested. Well, you don't look rested at all. Wipe that snot away, buddy. Okay, nothing new going on. Alert! There's a gang of firefighters outside. Or at least they're dressed like once. They've been banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. No! I have a rifle, and I will defend my food! You know... I will not defend my... not the family. It's not about the family, it's about my food. And it broke the rifle. Damn it. The gun is broken. What do we do now? Arrgh. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Dolores has a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, if they come back, we do have a problem. Let's hope that Mary Jane brings back an axe. An axe would be great. Unless the firefighters get her. That would be sad, but also entirely possible. Um, nope, I haven't heard anything yet about that. Good, so she's still out there. Loras would really love to eat something. Mm, and Ted is hungry. Okay, can, can do, can do, can do. I don't know, Timmy. I don't feel confident that you're gonna make it anyway. I mean, Mary Jane didn't bring back a med kit. Well, Mary Jane. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. The nearby docks... On the boats. Wait, what is happening? The nearby docks house some fancy looking boats. Oh yeah, right. Uh, the yacht. Found a can of soup and two bottles of water. Mm, eh, mm, not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, quite hungry, caught something nasty, really tired. We could easily survive this, I feel. 
without the kids. With all that food and water. <sighs> kids? Here's the thing, kids. I mean, okay, how much water do we have? We have plenty of water to actually get them through here. Um, in terms of food, it might be enough to actually feed the kids. I know I'm selfish, but they all brought back loot. So, I mean, in all fairness, I should at least give them water. Yeah, let's let's, let's not kill them right away. Let's just give them water. Who's, who's hungry? I think, I think Timmy should be hungry. Hmm. No, he's not. Mary Jane is hungry. Right, she went out. All right, Mary Jane, here's some food and water for everyone. Everyone, yes. Oh, Timmy's in good health and full of optimism. Guess who we're going to send out? I mean, look at Timmy. He might not come back, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Or Ted is. Ted is, for that matter. The beast of a rodent one at one and stole our food. Oh, no. Can or no can, we at least have each other, right? Ooh. Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy should eat. And Dolores has been okay. Let's give food to the kids because Timmy's going to go outside today. So might as well feed him before he goes out. I doubt he's coming back. But at least it's one less mouth to feed now. And we have the chance that he might bring something. Who knows? Who knows? Everyone's calm. Timmy went out. Mary Jane wants some food. Alright, Mary Jane, you'll get some food. There's never to go. Oh, never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity in this new world of ours. All right, that's a pancake event. I do not have a med kit. I doubt I will get a med kit. I'm gonna go ahead and not bring pancake into the bunker. I'm just gonna skip over that. I don't think we can because we don't have a med kit, and I would really hate to bury him. That would really suck. Okay, Mary Jane is quite hungry. Really? Still. You're still eating. You never stop the eating, do you now? It's the army again. We thought we were near, but it seems to be kept... Something kept them away. Guess we're not leaving just yet. Their broadcast was included with a request for assistance. They want us to take a few canisters of gas to the nearby nearest gas stop. Well, we do not have a gas mask. That one is broken and we didn't get the... <sighs> Boy Scout book event to repair it yet. So, we can't really help the military in their preparations. Yeah, way too risky to help the military without using a gas mask. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could have helped. Okay. This is all good. Dolores has not been very talkative lately. Should we chat with her and find out what's wrong? Oh yeah, please. Please, I would love to avoid any weird uh, situations with crazy family members. Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubt. She feels better now. Yay! Life is good. Okay, Dolores would really love to eat something. We'll not survive without water. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay, so the parents are hungry and water for everyone. Water is really not an issue. By the way, did we get that? No, okay, I thought for a second we got like a Timmy event. Um, we felt that we should do something about the interior decoration. The Feng Shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we we're moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? Yeah, let's let's check it out with a flashlight and see if we can shine in, shine on some information on it. Anyone got damaged? Did we get some items? Doesn't look like it. Oh, actually, we got a rifle. Neat. Ooh. Let's see. While looking through the room with the flashlight, we ran into an old rifle that used to belong to Grandpa Bill. We believe he brought it back from Europe after World War One. It seems to be in working order, even though in his final years, Bill was more concerned with smoking like a chimney and trying on his beret. Good for, good, good, good for Bill. Good for Bill. Good for Bill. For Grandpa Bill. Mary Jane says she's fine. She doesn't need anything. It's been a fine day. That's good. We got a rifle, so we are safe against raiders. Ooh, spiders! Spiders! We're gonna attack them with our bare hands. I know the chance is that everyone gets sick or we get hurt, but there's also the chance that Mary Jane becomes a mutant, and I think that's a very, very selfish thing of Ted to do to risk our daughter's life for her to become a mutant. And it didn't work, what a shame. I was, I was hoping for it. I think we decided we could rid of those spiders with our bare hands. Unfortunately, we underestimated their chances. They're really fast. Well, at least nobody got hurt. Mary Jane is still sick, but there was the chance that she became a mutant. So that's good. What can you do? Everything is shaking, cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank the delicious wine, it would have been perfectly normal. <sighs> An earthquake, let's save the radio, we're gonna need that. 
Hey guys, this episode turned out to be a little bit longer than expected, so I decided to cut it down into two parts. We're going to continue tomorrow in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm Alton. Hope to see you around. Bye bye.